All right, so Baghead is a new horror film that is out on Shudder. I knew nothing about it at first until I saw a trailer yesterday from IGN. Then I was like, this is a pretty dumb name, so let's see what it's about. So, me and her friend decided to watch the movie. One of my favorite genres in movies is horror, and it's the same thing for video games, books, all kinds of stuff. Horror is my favorite genre. So anytime I hear about a new horror film, I'm going to want to watch it. And from the trailer alone, I could tell that this movie was going to be interesting. I can normally tell when something's going to be good or if it's going to be bad or if it's going to be like one of those like in-between kind of movies, but this trailer made me think that, okay, this movie might be worth a watch. And I mean, for the most part, it actually was. It was very interesting. I wasn't bored throughout the movie. It kept me wanting to know more and more. As the movie's going on, me and my friend were asking each other questions about it and we're just like, okay, like what's supposed to happen next? Oh, why can't they do this? Why can't they do that? And then they end up answering those questions throughout the movie. So they pretty much answered every single question that I had about why certain things couldn't happen in this movie. And most movies don't really do that, so I applaud you guys for making a movie where you actually answer the questions that we have. Basically what this movie is about is there's this girl who ends up inheriting her dad's old place. He ends up passing away, so she ends up coming back to sign the deed and then she takes over it. From there, she ends up finding out that this place has this girl in the basement who wears his bag and people come and they pay money to try and speak to her. They give you two minutes to speak to the dead and then after that you have to like stop all communication or else she ends up going crazy. And for the most part, one, you know, two minutes isn't that much of a time. So if I had to pay money to speak to the dead and I only get two minutes, it's going to have to be way cheaper than how much these people were paying. Like these people were paying 2000 and up to speak for two minutes. I don't know about that. But it was a very interesting concept. It kind of reminded me of Talk To Me, where, you know, they have this hand that you can hold on to and then you get to ask questions and you get to speak to the dead. It was very much like that, but in a different approach because, you know, everyone's able to see what's going on and there's this person who's the gatekeeper of this possessed lady and the gatekeeper is basically able to tell this bag head lady what to do. She obeys her up to a certain degree and then once she gets past those two minutes, she kind of goes crazy. So I thought that that was kind of interesting. It was enough to make me want to watch the movie. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad that I did watch it. The initial release of this movie was for 2023, but turns out that this movie came out this year. So that's why I didn't hear anything about it. And I'm pretty sure other people haven't heard anything about it, especially with the name Baghead. Like that's, that's a dumb name for a movie. It kind of reminds me of like Pumpkinhead. I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with that, but it kind of has the same ring to it. As far as horror goes in this movie, it relies heavily on the jump scare thing. There's no build up to anything. You kind of know when something's going to happen and they do that throughout the entire movie. So you know when a jump scare is going to happen. I think there was maybe one scare that kind of got me and it was because I wasn't paying that much attention to the movie. And then when I did look back, I ended up getting a little like jump in there. But for the most part, no, it's not scary at all. I was a bit more invested in the story more than the horror aspect. And again, I'm watching this for the horror aspect, but I didn't really get that this much, but I did want to know why certain things were happening, why this person is down here. I also want to know why she couldn't just pass off the deed onto somebody else, but they end up answering that as well, which I thought was pretty cool. So like I said, they answer every single question that I had in this movie. As far as the ending of this movie goes, it ended exactly how I thought it was going to end. I saw no other way out because, I mean, even they saw no way out. They labeled this movie as a horror comedy. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know where they got the comedy from because I only saw the horror aspects of this movie. Maybe there's this, okay, so there's this one section in the movie where you might laugh at, but I don't think it's enough to give it a comedy rating. So there's this one part where this guy comes down to the basement and then he pays his money to go speak to the dead and he wants to talk to his dead wife. And you're thinking, okay, he wants to say goodbye or he's just upset and he just wants to talk to her one last time. And it turns out he just wants to know if she was cheating on him. And it was like, okay, like you're, you pay $2,000 to find out if your wife was cheating on you. That's a lot of money for that. She's dead. Why do you care at this point? So maybe that's where they got the comedy aspect from this. But then again, I don't think that's enough to make it a comedy film. So whoever lay with this needs to go back and change that. As far as gore and everything, there's not really much of that in this movie. Um, kind of think of it, I don't think there's any gore in this movie. 
but there is blood so that's interesting it's a horror film it is rated r if i'm not mistaken so you have that now the big question is would i recommend this movie to watch and my answer is if you have shutter sure go ahead and watch it it's on shutter that's where we watched it at but i would not pay extra to watch this movie like if it was in theaters i wouldn't pay to go watch this movie it was interesting just not enough to make me want to spend extra money to go watch it and if you don't have shutter you know there's a free trial try it out watch the movie if you don't just make sure you cancel the trial because they're going to charge you well guys did you end up watching this movie or do you plan to watch this movie let me know down in the comments down below and also please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys we have officially reached 2,000 subscribers and honestly i never thought that i would reach this point in my channel like this is just a hobby i'm not trying to make money off of anything but of course yeah like i'm monetized now so that's amazing but this is just a hobby so i'm not trying to push anything crazy but if you guys do want to donate and help me to watch more movies i'll put my cash up on here for you guys to you know send money to because you know movies aren't cheap but you know thank you guys again for all your love and support and we'll see you in the next one